This latest surge in COVID cases also having an impact on holiday travel. Some airlines, including United and Delta, canceled hundreds of flights today because of COVID-related staff shortages. CBS 4's Michael Obedo live at the airport tonight. And Michael, this includes some flights out of DIA. Yeah, it does, Dominic, you know, and I've actually talked to some people who have had to rebook flights on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But maybe it's the Christmas spirit. Folks here just don't seem to be too bothered by it. Slow and steady. That was the scene at Denver International Airport Friday as people left for trips and picked up loved ones before the holiday. Everyone was busy except for one Fort Collins woman. I was actually checking in for my flight and then I realized that I couldn't check in. <laughs> She's flying United and her flight to Chicago to see family was canceled. United Airlines canceled more than 100 flights on Christmas Eve and Christmas with just hours notice just before many were expecting to take off. A spokesperson for the airline said the cancellations were due to an outbreak of COVID-19 throughout the airline's crew. That meant travelers had to scramble around looking for other flights. Luckily, Kelsey found out before she left home and booked a different flight. It's later than her original one, which means she'll miss a meal with her family. Dinner time will be over, so we'll just kind of hang out. And while it isn't ideal, she's taking it in stride. Because in the time of COVID, she's used to businesses being short staffed. Everything has been kind of recovering slowly, but it's progress, so yeah. that's there always go. good. Now, the other concern travelers typically have around the holidays is security wait times. Well, I've been here all day and it seems to be pretty good. As you can see behind me, things moving along just swimmingly for your Christmas Eve. At DIA, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. That doesn't look too bad, Michael. Thank you. President Biden now plans to lift restrictions on eight countries in southern Africa. Those were put in place last month when the Omicron variant was first discovered in South Africa. Those